Ey, 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 First bit of carnage on my list, guys, is an F-250 from Ford. This one got absolutely smashed. Now, I'm going to be honest. I hate seeing these ones like this when they have car seats in them. Because it tells me. The good news is this one is not listed with any bio or blood. So the people that were inside of it, there probably weren't any children or anything in it at the point of the accident. That's the only thing you can really hope for, right? But this one got I took a pretty significant hit. I'm sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to hold the camera and walk through here, guys. It's very narrow. So I apologize in advance. But there it is. First little bit of carnage. This one really got smashed. It looks like a rollover. Wow. Next on my list is this Hummer H3. It will be the last one I look at today. Oh, it definitely has some alignment issues. Look at that tire down to the steel belts boy jesus christ people do not take care of their stuff i understand people want to have nice things but look man everybody you, look if you can't afford to maintain the nice things why buy the nice thing just wait you know like get something else stack up your money and then really get something nice you know what i'm saying oh wow i'd call this a biohazard look at all the i hope that's mud so somebody took this thing mud oh wow look at the column that's all bendable your keys in it yeah somebody left it in and left it turned on straight dick move oh there's mold there's mold and stuff in here mm, look at how nasty that is all right i'm not gonna waste any time on this one Maybe I'll look randomly and see if we can find something else to look at before we close out today's video. Because this one has mud all over it. Maybe it's a theft recovery. Because they, they ragged this out, boy. Hell to the no. I mean, the body looks good, but, oh, man, that interior. Woof. How about we wrap up today with some good old-fashioned carnage. Now, this one... It's weird. This is an older Ford. You can see it's got the LED headlights, though. Right? Older Ford. Nice rims. Got the matte paint. It's an F100. You know, the motor might actually have survived, maybe, in there. Ford Racing. This thing was not no punk, boy. This right here was a beast. And then somebody took it somewhere... They didn't know what they were doing and, and ate it. Pipes coming out here, right here at the side. And then here's the body material and the Toyota, which we're going to take a look at that Toyota that this thing hit here in a second. Because I just saw them drop both of these vehicles. So this is some rare first look carnage for y'all holy crap it hit something so hard that it ripped the exhaust and bent the bed look at the bed it literally bent the bed sideways holy crap i hope whoever was in here survived i don't see bio or anything like that 65 6500 miles on the clock in here okay Sparko official racing seats. I hope they were wearing them. You can see the shifter and everything is busted. Everything in here is just trashed. I really hope the people in here made it okay. There's the mileage. But here's the door. So the door didn't make it, which means the door got ripped off. I just hope the people. I don't see. See, here's one of the things you definitely can tell. They don't. Ho they're not hosing any of this off, right? I don't see any blood in here. So. That's a positive sign. I don't see any blood stains on the dash, the steering wheel. They might have actually made it okay. They might have been wearing the appropriate gear. But look at how bad this carnage is. I mean, 
even the floor is buckled like I mean, don't get it twisted. If they were in this truck, they got hurt. But I think they might have been all right because I don't see. I mean, they could have died from the impact. That's a possibility. But, man, you want to talk about some serious carnage. This is it. And this was cool. This is like a racing truck. And it's done. Whew. Raleigh Police Department. Mm-mm-mm. All right, now let me show you what it hit. All right, guys, so here is the Toyota that it hit. And I don't know if this was a multi-car accident or what, and it ricocheted off the back of this car, but this one got hit really bad. Um, and then you can see it, maybe it got hit from the rear and the front. You can see the pipe from some sort of oh it's in an exhaust pipe it is an exhaust pipe so maybe it's this car's exhaust pipe they took everything off and just threw it in the interior but this is the car with the matching pieces that are missing in the bed of that other truck that i just showed you and this is some serious carnage now did everybody make it in this one mm, i don't know are there any parts that are still usable on this camry this 2014 camry I don't think so. Maybe a door. Anyways, there you have it. That's going to wrap it up for today's video with some serious carnage. See you guys tomorrow. Next on my list today is this 2014 Chevy Silverado that, that looks very, very clean. The rims look clean. Everything on this thing looks really good. So why is it here? Well, it's got 114,000 miles and no bed but if you look at the bed you notice there really isn't any damage back here the frame does not look to be bent it does look like it had some kind of a fire issue because you see the wiring harness and stuff here melted now, i don't know if that means same thing here you can see where the stuff where the heat made this come off and i don't know if the exhaust caught on fire or something else but you can see the same thing here on the frame on the cross member here where the paint on it is like not rusted off but almost like it got burned off really weird really really weird now the other thing that you notice there's no gas tank here that's right no fuel tank which means it won't start there's no drive shaft nothing like that 114,000 miles on the clock now not to fear on the drive shaft though it's right here on the interior which basically destroyed the entire rear seats. Yay! But, and it does smell a little bit like Bidusi. It is a Z71. It is an overall good shape. It is one that I'm gonna keep my eye on um, as a potential vehicle that I wanna take a look at. Some asshole left the key on on this one too. People do that on purpose. It is a four wheel drive. So I am gonna look at it. We're gonna see um what it goes for it is on my watch list but i thought it was interesting i thought it was something i could just show you guys not spend a ton of time on it but just give you oh look at the french fries growing mold da, da, da. <laughs> yo, yo all right on my list is actually not on my list i just happened to be walking by and seeing this is this toyota tundra that just got smashed somebody clipped a pine tree and ran it right down the side and it literally snapped the pillar. Luckily it does not, it's not listed as bio or blood and you don't see any on these cloth seats. And it ripped the doors and everything, the fender, all of it. Look at this, straight out of the vehicle and put it down here. That is miraculous. But it also goes towards Toyota's safety record. I mean, I am very surprised not to see a ton of blood all over the interior of this truck you know hats off to the safety safety uh safety record of toyota seat belt is locked locked into place man i gotta say i i the more i see these totally destroyed vehicles the more i am just amazed you know how they take something like this that is completely smashed now would this ever be able to be fixed hell no 
parts maybe is the motor any good maybe possibly you know it took a very hard glancing blow here on the side the motor might be okay though but jesus man just amazing just amazing if you guys want to see a video of nothing but carnage stuff let me know in the comments below and i'll try to do one a week that's nothing but carnage but you got to let me know in the comments below with the hashtag carnage and if i get enough of those comments say like maybe a hundred i'll dedicate some time to do at least one video of nothing but carnage videos from all over the place once a week oh i know somebody that would like this one this is a p71 police special edition ford crown victoria which has a little bit of a bedussy smell but not too horrible let's see if it starts it still has the little spot there oh i see a spark plug on the floor that's never a good sign and nothing she's dead as a door now damn well i know some of y'all wanted to see this one but And it's kind of cheap buy it now buy it now price 750 bucks right now but if it doesn't run it doesn't do me any good i could say this is some carnage it looks like a tree came through the window here but it looks like there's trees growing in the cab Ta -da! Whew. highway patrol delivered this one to copart and it's another carnage vehicle it is a crown victoria with miraculously no bio it is not a bio or blood so maybe the people survived in here i don't know i don't see any blood i do see some insulin and stuff down there on the floor it's disgusting it does smell like ass but wow wow i mean since we're going with the theme i might as well keep showing it to you this is a jeep 2011 jeep wrangler and uh jeep wrangler unlimited which is all burned out so if you ever want to know what freddy cougar was riding in it's this Woo! It smells like burnt plastic boy but hey i mean this will buff out this is a tavares special right here i mean this could be a diamond in the rough man somebody could could fix this thing right up and flip it for a good <laughs> i can't even keep going with that flip it for a good amount of money i mean just wow and then we got some random carnage down this way I don't even know what the hell that is. Wow. That would be a 2010 auto, auto tribute? A tribute? Is that a Mazda? It is, it's a tribute, a Mazda tribute minivan. That one is, I guess, equivalently smashed. And continuing, con continue, continuing, continuing with the co-part smashed theme we have an f-150 with some significant damage it looks like it took a tree right there into the flywheel wow and last but not least and it wouldn't be right if i didn't gotta love when you have a battery issue right oh i should have checked it before i came in anyways let's get out here and take a look at the next thing that's on my list and it is this thing of beauty. Oh, please tell me you didn't smash this up against this other car. And son of a bitch, they did. Ah, this is a 5.3 V8, beautiful 2019 GMC Sierra with 27,000 miles. Now I was definitely interested in this one for a couple reasons. Even if it's not something I'm gonna keep for me, it could be something I buy. Oh, look, this even has the wireless charging thing for the phones. All right, let me see if it starts. Why is it here? That's my thing. Why is it here? I see the damage to the windshield. Okay, it is listed as a run and drive. Full leather interior. This is why I want it. I want it for its leather seats. I would literally unbolt these and put them right into the Tahoe just straight up i might even take some of these modules that uh i could pull out and pop into the tahoe so i get the USB-C port um but let's look and see if the wireless charging thing works right i got my my note right here i'm just gonna sit it down on it and see 
Yep, there it is. It's literally wirelessly charging. That's cool. This is definitely one of the things that I really want. Definitely, definitely one of the things I really want um, to add to the Tahoe. And they do make stock options or ways for you to, uh, you know, switch it up to be able to add it. Overall, it looks good. The mileage looks good on it. 27,085 on the odometer. Doesn't look like it's missing any power. I guess we got to take a walk around it. I don't know why this thing would be totaled out and be here. This is very similar to what you saw as the interior for my 2020 Duramax. Actually, it's exactly the same. It's not any different. Um, so definitely interested in this one, especially with the nice leather everywhere, man. I would literally take these leather seats and drop them in my truck. Drop them in my truck. I would. Let's take a look at the outside. Well, we know it runs and drives. Some genius backed it right up to this friggin' Ford Fusion, which kind of pisses me off. The rest of the truck looks good. No damage, right? Nice running boards out here. The bed doesn't have a liner. Not really a fan of that. Does have the side rails. No liner. It could be sprayed, though. You can rhino line it. How's the suspension and stuff look? I don't really see any vent stuff there. I'm wondering. Oh, look. It even has the multi-gate. This is the multi-gate where you can open it. It's got the soft open. That's cool. You know, it's got the soft open, multi-opening um, flap thingy. Yeah, it's a flap thingy. But you know, the new bed thing that does multiple things for GMC and Chevy. It's actually pretty cool. I don't see any damage anywhere on this truck. I mean, do you see any? I, am I missing something? I mean, I see the windshields busted. Oh, you know what? Now I'm starting to see it. Here it is. It took something right here in the front side. So you can see the damage there, right? You see the headlights busted. This totaled the truck? I don't get, oh, now I see it. I see what totaled it. That's petty though, man. That's petty as hell. Let me show you what totaled the truck. So you got this nice scratch line all the way down the side, right? You broke this here, but that's still not what totaled it. That's what totaled it. That pillar having that dent in it and cracking that windshield, that's what totaled it the pillar i wouldn't give a rat's ass if this thing went for the right money i'd literally fill that in put a new windshield in it fix the stuff on the front and you got a brand new truck for probably 50 percent off this will definitely be one that's on my watch list for sure definitely 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 next on my list is a swap canada i've been telling you guys i really want to put a duramax motor in that Chevy Tahoe. And this one could be right up my alley. The Moto Metal rims did not look like they fared well. Shout out to Moto Metal. Ouch. Like the rim literally busted in half and then the tire came off the rim. Wow. This is a 2500 HD. I don't see a lot of damage on this side. I see the front end parts up there that are gonna be missing. 57,000 on this Duramax diesel. That is not a lot. It does have the Allison transmission. Yes, it is a 2018. I do see the damage up front here. This truck is going to go for a lot of money. I can tell you right now. Just because like here, you could find some good deals on trucks in Florida because everybody's trying to buy the exotics down there in Miami. But up here, everybody's buying trucks. This door is good. That side rail, you know, that uh, step, step rail is busted. You really just need a door. Yeah, the cab has some damage there, but people will fill that and paint it. A bed, some rims and tires, and this looks like the whatever other vehicle hit it that's in the in the bed. Let's look at the interior. Let's see if the Duramax even starts. I sure hope she does. Z71, liking what I'm seeing so far. I see she's got power. I see this one also has 
the wireless charging pad. I must have got stuck at Chevy, man. They must have effed me. You know, I, I only got my Tahoe for the low. You know, I got my Tahoe pretty cheap, but I'm still, like, I'm, I'm kind of feeling some type of way now. Like, maybe they got me on my Tahoe, you know? Man, all right. Key is in the building. This still uses a real key. Let's fire it up. Now we're going to wait. Add air to tire. No shit. I know it's at zero. Waiting for the glow plug light to drop. And... Fires right up. Do we have oil pressure? Yep, good oil pressure. It doesn't look bad. I mean, she's got good oil pressure, obviously. Stabilitrack isn't gonna work, no shit. I get it. Um, it's gonna need some work, but I'm, if I was buying this truck, I'm literally trailer brake system. I'm literally buying this truck to uh is it working? Look, look, wireless charging. I love that. I wonder what it would take to like just swap this into my Tahoe. I just want one of these. I need to go to Chevy and see if they could just give me one of those and wire that thing in with the wireless charger. I just want it. I want it. I want the damn thing in the Tahoe. I want these seats. I want these seats in my Tahoe. You know what I'm saying? This would be a truck that I would literally part out. I would probably sell the engine out of my Tahoe, the engine and the transmission out of my 2019 Tahoe with less than 20,000 miles. I'd probably get back everything I would end up putting into this truck. And I would have a 6.6, .6, right? That's what this has. I believe this is a 6.6, right? I guess we could pop the hood and look at it. I'd have an Allison transmission. I don't know how much work and how much welding and cutting it would take. Y'all could tell me I'm crazy in the comments if you think so. But if you would like to see, y'all think I'm bullshitting. If y'all would like to see that, oh, look at this lane departure. <laughs> Hill descent, exhaust brake. This thing has, has a Jake brake. Are you kidding me? Brrr, that's awesome. It's got the movable pedals. So some of y'all you know, itty bitty people can, can reach the pedals. You know what I'm saying? Everything in here looks good. I mean, this might even be one that you could fix. Some people are probably get mad and be like, TK, why don't you just fix it and sell it? Nah, because I, that's not what I'm doing. I want to, I, I would buy this literally for the project of converting the Tahoe to a diesel and having probably the most exclusive friggin' Tahoe in the country. Eh. Anyways, if that's something you want to see, let me know in the, in the, in the comments with the hashtag, Swap, S-W-A-P, hashtag swap. If you want to see me buy this truck or a Duramax like it and swap the diesel motor into that Tahoe. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, you poor, poor manual Audi. I feel so bad. I hate seeing, this is just like my A4. This is an A4 S line that just uh, had, a small pro had a small problem, evidently. Oh, it's so sad. So sad. Oh, I saw Randy found one of my beasts. Family members. No, I'm not looking at that Corvette. One of my beasts. Family members at Copart yesterday. And I found one here today. With all of the parking sensors and whatnot. Some damage to the outside. You can see that this fender's bent. Definitely like these rims, though. I could definitely uh, do that. This is an LTZ Tahoe. Looks very good. I don't, know, I don't know if I'm really a fan of the white, though. What do you guys think? You think it runs? Two front, two flat tires in the front. I like the rims, though. I really like the rims. I really, really like the rims. Let's see if she fires up. Oh, this one has fobs, which means it does not have a, a key like mine. 44,000 miles on the clock. And this one is a 2019, yeah. All right. It is a total loss, weird. Fires right up. 
Oh, it's got the complete digital dash and everything too. See, so now look, full tank of gas. Come on, son. Look at this, man. And this one has the nice leather seats, captain's chairs in the back. Man, and it's got the third row seat, which mine has been deleted, but that doesn't mean I couldn't add it. Oh, it's got a flip down. Flip down display. Okay. So I can add this to mine, basically. It's got a sunroof. Okay. Oh, you know what? Mine doesn't have a roof that drops down this far. I'll have to look at mine as a comparison and see. All right. Now I'm starting to see just how base model my my Tahoe is. I'm starting to get a little offended. This one looks really, really good, though. It's got a heads-up display, which I don't think you guys can see on camera. But, man, even the, I love the gauges. I love this instead of the gauges. That definitely could be a GM thing that I try to upgrade on my truck by getting rid of the gauges and putting in digital stuff. Like, it's, I know it's just plug and play. It ain't going to be anything crazy. If you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. It does have an extra knob here. Mine doesn't have this or the trailer, um, trailer gain thing at all so i don't have this or this in my truck i also don't have this i don't have these there's a lot damn it there's a lot that my tahoe doesn't have that i'm starting to get offended man my cup holders don't have this i can't fold mine closed they're just open all the time same with this it's just an open whole open thing that kind of sucks man i do like the the start stop and not having a a key Hey, there we go. Some germ killing stuff in there. I don't know, man. I like this. I bet you this thing's going to go for a ton of money, though. A ton of money. So there is other stuff. You got tilt, slide. Okay, there's the lift gate, I'm guessing. I'm not going to mess with that because there's something really close behind me. All right. I mean, it's got some different features than mine. It has the garage door opener, which mine does not have. Radio sounds amazing. I don't have these custom set buttons either. I do have the Bose. Well, I had a Bose system, but I took it out. I put Boston Acoustics in. Everything else works. Oh, this has the nice telescoping steering wheel, huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, did I get it stuck? All right. Nice power steering wheel. I mean, this truck is nice. It's definitely much nicer than mine. You know, I'm just keeping it 100. It is. It's definitely nicer than mine. <sighs> I don't know, man. Definitely one I would look at. It is on my list. I know it's going to go for way more money than I'm willing to spend, though. Oh, huh. And here's me thinking an LTZ would have at least a 6.2 in it. Uh, and it's only got the 5.3. It only has the 5.3 V8. So it has the same power plant as my truck. Like, exactly the same. There's no different. I don't even think... I'm going to take a picture of this and compare it with my truck. But I don't, I don't think there's anything different in here than on mine. So it's really just interior fancy crap. Some fancy rims. wonder why they totaled this. It must be undercarriage damage. Okay, fender I get. All right. Bumper I get. You need tire. You need tires or fix those. Okay, I see a little thing here, a couple scratches. I don't know, man. I don't know if that's worth. I don't think this was. This should have been totaled, but hey, I'm not the insurance adjuster, so. Anyways, that's gonna do it. There you have it. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me here today. Uh, one more video coming tomorrow. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys do want to see nothing but a full Carnage video, let me know in the comments and I will put one together for y'all uh, at least once a week. You know, like I said in yesterday's video, just with the hashtag Carnage and uh, I'll do one. Anyways, uh, until next time, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Yes, it's about to open up. The sky's about to, oh, it's about to rain on me like a son of a bitch. So I got to go.